excuse me, but in reality, it is um, it's kind of a cross between English and programming language. It's enough to convey to you and whomever the team is that you're working with how you're going to solve that problem. So it's called pseudocode. Okay, what is an object? We're talking about object-oriented programming and objective C. What is an object? An object is anything that you want to manipulate. We could write a we could have a plane object. We could have a desk object. We could have a car object. We could have a view object for your iPhone. We could have a button object. Anything that you want to manipulate and control, it's an object, and that's what we're going to use. And we're going to typically apply action to that object in order to, for it to do something. So if we had written a plane object, well, what are some of the actions that we may want to apply to that plane? It may be bank right, bank left, accelerate, um, gain altitude, descent, um, land, lower landing gear, all kinds of things that we can apply to that um, um, to our view. What's a transaction? A transaction is um, you know a banking transaction. We could have it a debit account, a credit account. All those types of things are things that we may want to do to that object. Okay, and there's different object-oriented programming languages out there, Java, Objective-C, C++, uh, Python, um, that, that's out there right now. Properties. All right, just one second. Let me just uh, grab something real quick. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so property. What's a property? A property is anything that represents that object. The If we want to change its altitude, that would be a property. We want to change the weight or apply the weight to our plane object. In our view, it may be the background. It may be the size. Those might be different properties. Okay, what's a method? A method is anything that we're going to do to use to manipulate that object. So we could have a method that we call that says take our take off for our plane, or we call another method that um, takes a variable that we're going to talk about that says, hey, put the flaps up 10% or flaps down. Or we could call another method that um, tells what color we want the background or the foreground or what we want to do what happens when they do a, a swipe gesture those are methods they're going to apply action to the object and they these methods belong to that object so if I write a takeoff object that belongs probably to my plane I'm sorry if I write a takeoff method that is going to um, belong to the plane object as opposed to the background method um, that will be part of the um, the button or the view object. And the last part, um, what is an IDE? Integrated Development Environment. That is our Xcode. In, um, in Java, you could have an IDE called Eclipse, and that way what you would use for your ID, IDE if you're doing uh, Android application and then you know heaven help you if you're doing um, .NET programming you're going to be using Visual Studio or Visual C++ alright state of an object a state of an object is what is going on with that object at this particular slice of time so if I look out my window and I see a plane in the air and say that's this is our plane object and I snap my fingers. What is the state of that object? Well, right now, its state is at 30,000 feet, flying north northwest at uh, 600 miles an hour. That's the state right now. Okay. If 
I wait a couple seconds and snap my fingers and say, what's the state now? Well, it now may be going north instead of north, now, uh, north northwest. Its altitude could be 31,000 feet and its speed, you know, 550 miles an hour and its direction or its, um, its uh, altitude uh, is now descending. Same with the state. What's the state of this view that I see on my screen? Well, right now, this particular state is, you know, I'm hovered over this particular down arrow here in Adobe, and that state button is highlighted or selected. Okay. Okay. Functions are a little bit different. In Alice, functions, um, we're going to say, is a, a method returns a value. A function will not, uh, typically. But really, in when we start doing object-oriented programming in, um, um, in Objective-C, basically we're going to be working with all methods. And so methods belong to an object, functions do not. Functions are standalone and be belong to that particular file. And events are what's going on with our screen. So right here I have a click. That's an event that's being triggered and fired and sent to my Adobe application. A click, a click event. I could have a swipe event or touch event if I'm touching the screen. These are events that are going to call your methods. We're going to talk about how to do that. And so those are also referred to as event handler. Those methods that are tied to the event so that when somebody does a swipe or a tap, they call the method that you want to apply the action to for that object. Windows and Mac and the iOS devices, Android, um, those, these are all event-driven operating systems as opposed to real-time um, operating systems. Real-time operating system, just kind of what it applies. Things are happening real-time. If you say you want it to do something every tenth of a second or hundredth of a second, you're guaranteed that that's going to happen in a real-time operating system. An event-driven applica uh, application, you can't guarantee the timing of when things are going to happen. Okay, But it's driven by events, so you can guarantee that events will be fired for what's going on. Okay. Okay, so we talked about an object. What's a class? A class is a group of objects with the same properties and the same methods. Simple programs like our IO, a simple iOS application might have a handful of classes. We're going to see what classes do here when we, uh, in objects, what the relationship is um, when we go ahead and, um, and make our first Alice application. So here's a view class a table class, a string class, um, a number class. What's instantiation? It's a big word that means basically you're going to copy a class or an object. Okay, instantiation. All right, well, um, that's all for the YouTube portion of this class. I'm going to open it up for Q&A here for a few seconds and you can, those of you listening to the YouTube video will be able to download it um, and watch it uh, from the forum. So I'll go ahead and stop the recording or the YouTube part now and go ahead and open it up for Q&A. Any questions? Or also comments. So so what do you guys think so far? Is this useful for y'all? All right, well, you guys are being easy on me tonight. Well, hopefully it was useful, and um, I'll see you back next uh, Wednesday when we start going into a little bit more about building our first applications and um, in Alice and then in Objective-C. Tim, Tim says, I've uh, got a whole lot of recording subject matters. Yeah, it is. You know, anytime you go through a book alone, Tim, it um, it can be hard to digest. That's why I made these videos um, to kind of go along with the book, and hopefully, it's helpful for you, Tim. Oh, good. 
All right, everybody. Thanks again.